uh, Michael here as uh, our mayor and by John Carney as, as, uh, as our governor. The, uh, 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 Lisa, when uh, I used to work for Lisa, she was, she came to work for me as an intern and then my congressional office a long time ago and stayed to help run uh, constituent services and went off to the governor's office and was really, of course, my point person for strengthening families. And we're very, uh, very grateful for that their work there. And halfway through my time in, in as governor, we uh, she became our sec deputy secretary of health and social services, and then our secretary of labor. The day that I was sworn in the governor as governor in uh, January of '93, January of '93, uh, four thousand people that day went to work at the Seaford Nine Line plant. Uh, all across the state, uh, twenty-seven thousand people went to work for for Dupont. Uh, we had a, a steel mill up in uh, Claymont where John, our governor, uh, grew up, uh, and there were a thousand people went to work that day uh, at the Claymont uh, steel plant. We had uh, four thousand people went to work for General Motors that day. Four thousand people went to work for Chrysler that day. And uh, today, we have another twenty-seven thousand people going to work for Dupont. There's four thousand, and we're grateful for every one of those jobs. And something good is coming out of this merger between Dow and Dupont. And, it's not the time to discuss that, but actually, it's uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good for us, and it's going to be good for folks in uh, in this in the state and uh, as, as 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 well. But the point I'm trying to make is uh, uh, economies and the nature of the economy of a state or city or country uh, change with time. Part of it's driven by uh, the marketplace. Part of it's driven by by technology. Uh, we uh, up in. Uh, uh, Sterling Heights uh, uh, Chrysler plant up in uh, Detroit. They, uh, they used to have 4,000 employees. Now they have 1,000 people who build the same number of, of cars, trucks, and vans. They still build as many. The quality is even better. They have only one quarter as many people uh, to work with. So as the, uh, the nature of our economy changes, uh, we need to change and, and always ask the question, what do you need? What is the, uh, the next generation of employees? What do you need to be successful? And uh, our delegation, our governor, we are doing customer calls all the time. This is as large as small, all over the state, outside of the state, even outside of the country, to say, uh, what do you need? How are we doing to meet those needs, whether it's state, local, federal, and what can we do to, to help? 